okay, 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 okay. Y'all. So I just got this. Oh, okay. So I just seen a short of Billy Eilish and her boyfriend or whatnot. So Spirit told me something that is very crazy. So what Spirit said was older men prey on younger women because they know that the younger women are too young to have the signs to have the experience to know the signs of the red flags so they are under a cloak knowing that you don't know what to expect from them i don't know who that was for on my channel i don't know who is dating an older man i do not know but what i do know is the spirit is saying that this person is 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 playing on your top he playing on your top so I'm going to attempt to connect to this energy. And see what we come up with. So, Spirit, can you confirm the energy that I felt? Can you confirm or give us confirmation, some type of advice, something? <gasps> Y'all, this is the devil. <laughs> so, reclamations. So let me give let me go ahead and bust off the little book so y'all can because it's something that's here, baby. It's something. Why isn't the devil at the back of the damn material? Okay, so here it is. So basically we have a goddess determined with one of one wool hoof on water. So she has one foot, which is basically she's two faced. Oh my god, hold on, wait, wait. Let's break it down. So, whoever this person is, they act one way with a certain group of people. They act another way with a certain group of people. But they only know their true nature. Her left hand points, her left hand points towards the earth, bound by a scarf. In a position reminiscent of the... Reminiscent of the witch's creed as above and below as so below As above so below her right hand raises raised above holds a wand the element of fire blossoming creativity You may not always feel the most grounded but take a look around and see where you can help yourself Shifting perspective self work shadow self narrative so what I'm kind of getting is that this person may have came in in an opportune time in your life where you had nobody and this person could have posed acting like they were the somebody that was going to save you. But in actuality, it was like, I heard kidnapped. It was like you were being, a plot was being orchestrated against you and you did not know because maybe he smiled or she smiled so sweetly. It was like... Ain't no way this person can do me dirty. I see that it's very hard for you to leave this person because some of you guys always find yourself looking back as if this person was all that you had. But that's you guys should look into more onto like manipulation and the tactics. These this these people, whoever this person is that you're connected to, this person doesn't want you to have alone time. This person doesn't want you to have time to contemplate. Maybe some of you just be in your head sometime and this person comes up to you and it's like, what are you thinking about? I hate that energy. Like, first off, if I'm in my mind, mind your business. If I'm in my business, you need to mind yours. So this person is very clingy. This person wants to control everything. This person may text you, call you, ask you all day long, what are you doing? And when you ask them what they're doing, it's something plain. It's something like, oh, I'm just doing this or I'm just doing that. And it's like, you know that they're doing more than that. This person is a fake. I heard Sag. And then we have more Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. And then this is Capricorn energy right there. Um... This is necessary. I'm not getting... You guys could be a water sign. But what I'm definitely feeling is that this person doesn't want you to connect to your inner self. Because then they feel like it's going to be a fight. Because they don't want you to leave. I heard DV. I knew it. I knew it was going to come up. I heard DV. They are ready to do whatever they need to do. Say whatever they need to say. To keep you with them. And if you know this person does you means you no harm. Why would you even be with them? 
And then we have here the lover's card. So they're madly in love with you. They want to do whatever they can do. I want to see what's a future energy about this relationship because um, I'm really not feeling this energy, to be honest. I feel like we are put on earth as wholes. So when you come into your partner, you should be coming into a partner that makes you feel completely whole. Not like I'm talking about like you found something completely different than what you were used to. This person shouldn't even be stirring up negative feelings. Like I hear sometimes it's good, but most times it's bad. Like don't be one of those people that be like literally making excuses for their partner until their partner bashes their head in or does something real stupid real embarrassing and then you're embarrassed like i can't believe these people told me to leave him alone leave her alone and they didn't just embarrass me because dv relationships definitely end up in embarrassment i just want to let you know that if you want to stay with this person be prepared to be embarrassed because that's what they plan on doing is embarrassing you with the six of cups here this is a person that's in your past you may have been in this relationship for six years you could have been in this relationship for four years some of you i heard y'all been in this relationship for 10 years and to be honest if you've been in a relationship for 10 years and he not married y'all are not married that's a hard that's already a red flag you just spent majority of your life with this person and they're not trying to be serious that's a red flag I'm feeling like this person is very much so happy with the fact that you cannot tell. You're naive at some points and you cannot tell what's a red flag or not. With the tower, it's like I said, it's some type of um, situation that's about to come to a close. It's on its way. It has something to do with money, stability. Can we get... What is the future? Let me just... Put that to the side what is in three months what do what does this person or whoever is connected to this reading what do they have to expect in three months spirit okay this was a cluster but let me just gonna push these over and let's see what you have to expect for the next couple of months with this person oh my god oh my god so, oh my goodness. Basically, like I said, this person plans on embarrassing you. This person plans on, on. I don't know if you guys are trying to move to a different city or y'all trying to move. This person is trying to isolate you and keep you out of your power. This person, their main goal is to not, for you to not realize who you really are. I was just saying today, beautiful people never really see how beautiful they are. And they always try to down themselves because they understand that they are a little bit prettier than everybody else. Or their attitude or the way they carry themselves is different than everybody else. So it's like out of humbleness they try to lower themselves and i see that this person you are already a humble person but this person wants to humble you even more we have the nine of wands and the nine of swords this person if you guys are smokers or you're thinking about smoking cigarettes and you don't smoke cigarettes this person wants you to be in your head about what you're doing in life they want you to be waiting on them waiting on them to tell you when to move they want you to be constantly worried because if you're worried about something else dealing with them, you're not going to be worried about them, period. And I see that um, in the next couple of months, you're going to be looking for a way out with this Queen of Wands. You guys are going to be, I don't know if you guys are active on my channel or you, you're going to be active on your on my channel and you're going to connect with the information I have to give. But I see that you're going to get what you need to get and you're going to get out of this relationship with this person because I see you walking. You are literally in these cards looking towards your change. Two of Cups. This relationship is over with, babe. Eight of Cups awakening i cannot make this up awakening the nymph of swords and then look at this nymph of pinnacles this person is preying on you because you're young you haven't re you haven't yet made it to the bottom they're distracting you they see your beauty they see what you're worth they see your innocence and they're really trying to take it they want to show people that oh this and this like if you're like, okay, so let's just say somebody's like, oh my God, she really takes care of her husband, or she really takes care of her boyfriend, or she really does what she needs. Oh, no, nah, y'all yeah, don't see how what I got to deal with. When in actuality, you have to deal with that person, and they don't even have to deal with you. But you have to deal with them always trying to talk down on you. And I think with this awakening right here, let me see what this awakening means. Because I know what it means. I just, it be judgment, boom. 
with this judgment, a lot of you guys are nervous about moving. You guys are nervous about leaving this person. But it's not it's so clear in this reading that you need to leave this person because this person is terrible. This person is doing too much. This person is acting up. Everything that you could say, the they're bad, all of this. And I'm not talking about bad in a good way. This person is terrible. And it's time for you to really get deeper into yourself and understand why do you want this person? And then even look deeper into yourself and see what are they really giving me? What am I really gaining from this relationship besides um, a problem with my self-esteem? Because I feel like this person really lowers your self-esteem. So, yeah. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Definitely like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys later.